This is the news in brief from the United Nations. The UN's top Middle East envoy briefed the Security Council on Thursday, highlighting that after months of unrelenting war in Gaza and tensions spilling into the wider region, there's still no end in sight to the fighting. Tor Wenneslin said that there was no end to the trauma of those impacted by the horrors unleashed on the 7th of October in Israel and no end to the suffering and desperation of people in Gaza. He was in the shattered enclave earlier this week and described the humanitarian situation there as shocking, unsustainable and desperate. Christopher Lockyer, Secretary General of Médecins Sans Frontières, or Doctors Without Borders, said he was appalled by the United States' repeated use of its veto power to obstruct efforts demanding a ceasefire, as it did again on Tuesday this week. We live in fear of a ground invasion in Rafa, he said. Calling Washington's new proposed draft resolution misleading at best, he said the council should reject any resolution that will further hamper humanitarian efforts on the ground and also tacitly endorses the continued violence and mass atrocities in Gaza. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, entering its third year, has exacted a horrific human cost, inflicting immense suffering on millions of civilians that will be felt for generations, UN Human Rights Chief Volker Turk said on Thursday. The war continues to cause serious and widespread human rights violations, destroying lives and livelihoods, he said in a statement, launching the latest UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission report. It verified 30,457 civilian casualties since the 24th of February 2022, including 10,582 killed and 19,875 people injured, with the actual numbers likely to be significantly higher. Millions have been displaced, thousands have lost their homes and hundreds of medical and educational institutions have been damaged or destroyed, significantly impacting people's rights to health and education. And the UN independent expert on the situation of human rights in Russia called for accountability and solidarity with all the war's victims, including Russian activists. The war has devastated millions of Ukrainians and unleashed a war against Russians at home, Mariana Katsarova said in a statement on Thursday. And finally, UN refugee agency UNHCR on Thursday welcomed this week's adoption by the African Union of a protocol to eradicate statelessness and advance inclusion for millions without a country to call home on the continent. It was adopted last weekend during the AU Assembly of the Heads of State and Governments. UNHCR stressed that statelessness is a worldwide phenomenon with those affected denied the right to recognition as citizens of any country. As a result, they're often prevented from full social participation, becoming politically and economically marginalised and vulnerable to discrimination, exploitation and abuse. The protocol seeks to provide solutions to legal barriers that will ensure that stateless people and those at risk of statelessness can exercise their rights and have better access to them, as well as national services such as health, education and the right to work legally. Matt Wells, UN News.